Hello everyone. This video is going to talk about NAS repair and data recovery. NAS is the network attached storage. It is actually a real computer runs as a server, which has no screen, keyboard, and the mouse. But like any other computers, it has hard drives in it. NAS problems can be categorized into three. One, NAS motherboard problem. Two, hard drive PCB board problem. Three, hard drive disk problem. Fixing NAS motherboard is same as fixing a computer motherboard. Another option is to swap the motherboard with another identical NAS. But this option is not always working because most of the NAS motherboard is linked to the original hard drives. Inside the NAS are the hard drives. The brand name could be Seagate, Western Digital, Samsung, Toshiba, and the others. Fix or swap the PCB board is a common way to fix NAS. Common PCB board problem symptoms. You can see burn mark on the PCB board. You can smell the burn. The NAS experienced power surge. The hard drive no spin. If the computer can detect the drives by bias, then most likely the PCB board is good. If the computer BIOS cannot see the drive, either one or both of the PCB board of the disk are bad. How to swap the hard drive PCB board includes two parts. One, how to find the donor board. Two, how to do the PCB board from a transfer. We use the hard drive model number and the PCB board number as reference to find the correct donor board. We do PCB board from a transfer to make an identical PCB board, which is 100% compatible with the old hard drive. Locate the model number of the hard drive. All the Seagate hard drive model numbers start from ST. This picture shows where to find the PCB board number on the PCB board. Different hard drives, different PCB boards the PCB board's locations are different. If you cannot find the location of your hard drive PCB board number, you may go to hdd-parts.com, input the model number of the hard drive, and then take a look at the picture. The picture will show you the PCB board number, the location. You may go to www.hdd-parts.com in the search box, input the board number and then click on Go. The correct donor board is found. PCB board from a transfer. PCB board from a transfer is to transfer the PCB board firmware from the original board to the donor board. What is the PCB board firmware? And why do we have to transfer the firmware before swapping the PCB board? 1. One hard drive PCB board includes two parts, hardware and firmware. 2. The firmware includes hard drive's unique configuration data. 3. The hard drive needs this unique configuration data to work. So we have to transfer this unique configuration data from the original, even it is bad, board to the donor board. Then the donor board can work on the original hard drive. This picture illustrated how the PCB board firmware transfer works. On the left hand side is the burned PCB board. On the right hand side is a good donor PCB board. We transfer the firmware from the bad original PCB board to the good donor PCB board. We want to mention three things regarding the hard drive PCB board firmware transfer. One, 
PCB board firmware transfer is different from the hard drive firmware upgrade. The PCB board firmware transfer is to transfer the PCB board firmware from one board to another board. Hard drive firmware upgrade is to upgrade the hard drive's own firmware. It has nothing to do with another hard drive or another PCB board. 2. We can do the PCB board firmware transfer from the physically damaged PCB board, like burned, watered, or other kind of damage. Our PCB board firmware transfer success rate is more than 95%. 3. We do the PCB board firmware transfer for our clients for free. If after swapping the PCB board, the NAS still cannot work, we may suspect that the disks are damaged. Some common disk problem symptoms. 1. The computer cannot detect the hard drive. 2. The computer BIOS can detect the drive but the disk manager cannot. 3. The hard drive makes clicking or other noisy sound. 4. The hard drive spins well, but cannot be detected by the bias. We receive many questions regarding the hard drive PCB board firmware, also called hard drive PCB board bias, and uh, the hard drive PCB board compatibility. So let's talk a little bit more about this in general. Some PCB boards BIOS are in the independent memory chip, like the first picture shows. Some PCB boards BIOS are integrated into the main IC, like the second picture shows. Most of the modern hard drives PCB boards need to do the BIOS transfer before swapping the PCB board. Even the donor boards are identical with the original boards in hardware, we have to transfer the BIOS from the original board to the donor board. Then the donor board can work on the original hard drive. The third picture shows some of these PCB boards. But there are some hard drive PCB boards do not need the BIOS transfer. As long as the donor boards are identical with the original boards, you can swap the boards directly. The fourth picture shows some of these kind of boards. If you have any questions, such as how to find a donor board, if your board need to do the BIOS transfer, where is the BIOS of your PCB board? How to swap your PCB board? Please go to www.hdd-parts.com to check it out, or you may take pictures of your hard drive and the PCB board and email to us. We will give you the correct answer. This picture shows the procedure how we do data recovery for our clients. First, the client send their hard drive to us. Second, we do data recovery. Third, we ship back the data to our clients. Thank you so much for taking your precious time to watch my video. Any comments are really appreciated. If this video is a little bit of help, could you please click on like to support me? Thank you again. Bye.